Hey, welcome to Scrapping. Um, on this episode, we are changing the transfer case fluid. So if you look, this is the drain. That's the fill. Um, there's plenty of room under here, I think, to fill it. So I probably don't even need anything special. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna do this. So 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Um, I got a breaker bar to loosen these up. Then I'm gonna just dump it out and replace it. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully, it's okay. Turn that little. I've been stabbed by something. So always loosen your drain first, then loosen the fill. So that way you know that you can continue doing what you're doing. This is gonna be hard, right? I don't have any really short bars, so I'm gonna have to get something to Push on this rubber. Yeah, I will be right back. All right, loose now. I'm going to drain this. Make sure to... Wow, it looks gross. Make sure you clean off your uh, uh, magnetic I guess this is technically a bolt of some sort. Um, this is another one of those ones that doesn't have any sealant on it. Just like the differential, so... I think we will leave this one without sealant and see how it goes. Looks just like a metal on metal contact. So, we'll go with factory on this. And let's just take out the top one. This one should just be, yeah, this one's just a bolt. This one's got a washer. Oh, the washer is actually on here. So, just be aware of that. There is a washer on the nut. So, I'm going to put these to the side. Nice and clean. We're going to wait for this to drain. And this uses a special Nissan special automatic transmission fluid. Transfer cases usually use transmission fluid. Um, but this is what it uses Nissan D, Nissan Matic D ATF. So, and that's what the transmission on this truck uses too. Doesn't blow anymore. But. 
I'm gonna do to refill this because I bought a pump but it hasn't gotten here yet to pump in fluid because usually you just stick it in the bottle and then pump and fill it up. What I'm gonna do, is, this is what I've done in the past, is you take one of these off of a um, like heavyweight oil bottle and put it on top and there you go. And then you can just dump it right in there. And sometimes you need a little bit of hose to do it. We should be fine without it. So that's most of it out. So what I'm gonna do is put my drain plug back in. Gonna tighten it a hair more than hand tight. Don't go crazy because these are all cast metals. I only want a hair more. I'm sure there's a torque spec for this, but I don't have the wrench to fit it, so we're going to go with this. So now, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. basically level. The transfer case is level to the ground. Just to help here. Cardboard, so I don't make a big mess in the environment. Just like flip that around out real quick. So I took almost two quarts. And we're just gonna let that drain out. This used to go do. This clamp is a goner. Now, now it's slowing down, so I'm going to call that good. Um, 
wipe down everything. I don't want to be confused thinking it's leaking because I left some here. Scrapping. Um, on this episode, we are changing the transfer case fluid. So, if you look, this is the drain, that's the fill. Um, there's plenty of room under here, I think, to fill it, so I probably don't even need anything special. But, uh, yeah, so we're gonna do this. So, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Um, I got a breaker bar to loosen these up. Then I'm going to just dump it out and replace it. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully the video is okay. Turn that little... I've been stabbed by something. 